What's up guys, this is Teddy. Welcome to my YouTube channel. This video, we are going to be building out the update API endpoint. So we already have our repository figured out pretty much. We don't need to add anything to our repository. Now what we need to do, as we've done in pretty much all of these other videos, we start with our uh, review service interface. All we do is we go into here and we add <clears throat> review DTO as a return object. Then we have our update review. So we will have our update review right here. You will have an int for our Pokemon ID. You'll have an int for our long or our um, review ID. Make sure we put ID here. And then what we will have is we will have a place to actually add the review DTO because as the create review, we just have the just regular review DTO right here. With the update review, we actually have to specify the actual review that we want to edit. So just note the differences between them and note these subtle differences because these are, you will see these exact patterns a lot. You will notice that in any API endpoint, whether it's Java or whether it's C-sharp, you see these exact same patterns when it comes to um, the, the return and when it comes to the actual service as well too. So just uh, make sure to take note of that. We go in here, we're going to add our uh, method to here, and we're just going to click the little red light bulb, and we're going to actually implement this method. Now we need to implement the actual code that's going to go inside of it. So we've got our skeleton set up. Now we need to actually update the code. And the code's not going to be that much different. It's pretty much going to be this with an extra uh, DTO mapping to it. And if you don't know what that means, let's just go ahead and implement it. The first thing that we can do is we can just take our Pokemon right here. So we can just take our Pokemon and we can copy and paste it into here. Simple enough. And we can take our review. We can do the exact same thing. So we can uh, go ahead, copy and paste this. And we can even just take this exact same um, exception handling right here. And we can also add it right here. So that takes care of pretty much of a lot of it. The only thing that we have to do with the update update is we have to map the review over to the review DTO. So we get the review back, but now we need to map it over. So first thing we're going to go in here and we're going to set the, um, I think, yeah, we set the title first. Let me go into the actual review and make sure. So we got title content stars and so let's go ahead and do the title and this is exactly just we're just mapping this if you don't know what this pattern looks like that we're about to do just realize that we're just mapping it over and we're turning it from the review and we're going to actually update with the review dto okay so going here then we're going to go review dot set let's make sure here that i'm doing the right thing so we've got content so we're going to set the content and then we'll go review DTO dot um, get content. The, yep. And then it IntelliJ did a lot of the work for us. We even knew what we needed. Now we need to go to the stars. So we go review DTO dot get stars. review DTO, and then we need to go into our repository. Then we're going to go into our save, and just remember that Java, the save, if there is a actual, um, if, if there is a record in there that's already detected, it will automatically update it for you, but if it's not, it will save it. So just remember that save and update are pretty much the same thing in Spring Boot. So we're going to go in here and then we've got our updated review and it's going to change it. So all that happens and you may be wondering, well, why didn't, why doesn't it have the ID? It's not going to change the ID because it passes it up there with our review DTO. Okay. So now we've got that. That looks pretty much good. What we need to do next is we need to go into our controller and we need to go in there and actually create this thing. Okay, so now that we have that done, let's go into our review controller and actually start building this thing out. So 
uh, review controller is going to look very similar to the controller up above, but it's going to be a put instead of a get mapping. So make sure that you have a put mapping instead of a get mapping because that can cause problems if you get them mixed up. And our URL string is going to look the exact same as the URL in our review up here. So what's going to happen is we're going to have our reviews and then we will have our ID. And the reason that they don't get mixed up is because it's a put mapping and the API endpoint can tell the difference. So we go in here, we go response entity. And we're going to have our review DTO and we are going to have update review for our um, method name and we'll have path variable and these are going to be almost exactly the same so I'm just going to go up here and actually copy these and that looks good also make sure that these are matching up right here if these aren't matching up you will get errors and it will could cause you some problems and the only difference is, is that we need to pass up stuff through the requ request body. So in our request body, we are going to have our review DTO and we are going to pass in a DTO. Now here, all we are going to do is we're just going to invoke this service that we just created. And by doing that, we will have our review. Um, let me see here. So we can have our review DTO and we will have our review service and we'll have our update review. And as you probably guessed, we are going to pass in all of our values right here. So let me see here. So we have review ID, we have review DTO, and these are the same thing. So I'm going to have to name them a different um, value. So I'm gonna, get, I'm gonna call this an updated review. Then I'll go down here and I'm going to just return a response entity. So go here, we're going to have our new response entity. And within our response entity, we are going to actually return our review. Pretty simple. Not Well, not, maybe not that simple, but not that complicated either as uh, some of the other endpoints are. So updated review, and I misspelled that. So I'm just going to go copy this from there and copy in that value so it passes it into our response entity. And that looks pretty good. We should be good to go. So I'm going to go ahead, click. I'm going to go and run this. And what you can do, and I've already been testing. I was already testing this out beforehand, obviously, because I have to make sure that this is working beforehand. But what you want to do is get your get review by detail. You can go ahead and copy it and you can use that exact same value for the URL. And all you need to do is make sure that it's a put. And then you can also take this value that you got back without the ID, make sure that you don't, don't copy the ID, but you could just take this, this whole entire thing, just like this, and you can copy it into the update review. And what you want to do is because it's an update, we have to actually update the value. So what we do, we pass this in, we delete this because we don't want, once again, we don't want the, we don't want to pass the ID up and I'm going to give this five stars and I'm going to give this, I'm going to rename this title update just like this update and that should be a good signifier that we updated it. Then we'll go back and we'll get the reviews by the Pokemon and we'll be able to see if this is actually updated. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to go ahead and pass this up, make sure that it's running. Looks like, looks like everything is running. So I'm going to go ahead and click it and we got a review back. Good sign. Now what we need to do, you, I guess you don't have to technically do this, but this would make a lot of sense. Um, go into your previous get reviews by Pokemon and we updated Pokemon one. So if we click this, we should get this new value. If we scroll, hopefully, hopefully, up. okay, there we go. And it updated. So now we've got our update figured out. The only thing that we need to do now before we start moving on to spring security is just updating or adding our delete endpoint, which should be your super easy. And after this, we can finally move on to spring security. Thank God. Anyway, hope that you guys enjoyed this. Smash the like button, smash the subscribe button. And as always, thank you for watching.